Holy sweet Moses left us out thick as hell. And yes, I'm aware that it's quite the obvious duh to start a video, but uh, my goodness, I'm really starting to believe anyone to the left of William F. Freaking Buckley is destined to become a brain dead zombie. This is what we get from generations of idiots who aren't ever taught how to think, but rather what to think. You know, ones that have just expired sponges for brains that rinse failure from one generation to the next? Until we have a horde of morons with dilute spatters of failure for thinking prowess. And then all of a sudden we're wondering why on earth everyone is incredibly stupid despite easier access to information than ever before. It's almost as if you never equip people with the capacity to think or reason, they will find absolutely no joy whatsoever in the pursuit of knowledge itself. Instead we have masses of lemmings who can't think, won't think, and taught by other people who appear to think that they shouldn't think at all, and outsource their thinking to others who have the correct thinking. Does that make sense? Good, I'm glad you agree. There's a ways of progressivism, isn't it? Call themselves forward thinkers, <laughs> I don't know what's more comical, the forward or the thinking part, by taking failed ideas from the past, repackage them with a present flavor while still keeping the uh, original vein of failure that caused them to fail the first time around, and then call themselves anti-racist, diverse and inclusive, while also saying everyone who disagrees with them are fascist Nazis or some shit. Uh, whites are superior with privilege, blacks are inferior with no privilege. Uh, even though you can be both black and a white supremacist, if Larry Elder and the LA Times are anything to go by, uh, thereby stirring up the racial tensions again and again and again, while claiming to be the good guys, which keeps the grift going in an endless feedback loop, purporting to be the solution whilst also continuously stirring up the fucking problem. All very cynical now, isn't it? And if you're thinking, hang on a minute, that sounds suspiciously like the Koof Booster model. That's an astute observation, viewer, and you would be correct, cause it is. These are the same people that want to obliterate any and all ethnic or national ties and who also want to turn you into a minus hedonistic tool whose sole purpose in life is endless consumption, while they also profess to hate capitalism. It's almost like they're all full of shit. Anyway, where was it going with this again? Alright, the stupid. So, Nina Turner, who was Bernie's national co-chair for his, uh, 2020 presidential campaign who said that choosing between Biden and Trump is like being forced to eat half a bowl of shit instead of the whole thing. Uh, clearly a very classy articulate individual we have here, which is rather jarring considering she's also a professor. Or let's pray was rather. You know there is something very wrong with our society when you think professor and the first thought that comes to mind is idiot rather than educated professional? Again, thanks through Harvard. Uh, now the reason I bring up the stupidity is, as we all know, the left can't meme because comedy requires brains, quick wit, and the uh, capacity to not be easily offended, uh, qualities which the left deem extremely problematic, which probably explains why you can cut a leftist to pieces with a duckling feather. So in Columbus, Ohio, uh, there was some drag queen reading event which uh, naturally would piss off anyone with even a metatarsal of morality in them. It's funny, the article I was reading on this said that uh, online targeting has resulted in a surge of anti-rainbow violence. And then they mentioned the recent Colorado shooting, which I thought was um, <laughs> rather odd considering that once the shooter identified as non-binary, that pretty much was dropped from the news cycle like a fucking lead anchor. Jeez, I wonder why. But anyway, so the Proud Boys show up, and you guys know the Proud Boys, those uh, far-right Nazi insert whatever stupid label the leftists will use nowadays, uh, even though it's headed by a black Cuban dude, which again makes no bloody sense whatsoever, and they decide to have some fun. So picture this, the Proud Boys are across the street from the event, and as a form of protest, they decide to get some audio together and all dance to the song YMCA. Which, as far as a troll goes, is fantastic. That is some top quality trolling right there. I wish you could play the audio, but you know, copyright music and all of that are so. I suppose the video here will have to suffice. Now, the thing is, I saw this on Twitter. The amount of people on there who thought the Proud Boys had no idea of the origin of the song. Holy shit! I mean, I'm scrolling through the comments, borderline screaming at my screen. Like, my word, these, they know that, that's the whole fucking joke, you idiots. Do none of these people understand irony or satire? I mean, if it's like, no wonder they're all so miserable and stupid, they're devoid of any humor. What was weird is they were all calling the Proud Boys a bunch of homosexuals. Like, that's a bad thing? I thought these people were all in favor and pro-gay, etc, etc. But this is the thing about the left that's so bloody obvious, it's annoying more people don't call out this bullshit. All of the crap these idiots espouse over identitarian labels, that's all a smokescreen. These people merely use these labels as a performative grift only if your politics happen to match. Otherwise, your minority labels mean nothing. In fact, if your politics don't match the face value perception your minority labels might indicate, 
they will be weaponized against you at the drop of a damn dime. Say for example, if you took someone who's black, gay and trans and you put them in front of some Trumpers and leftists, on face value, the leftists will think ally and the Trumpers will think leftist avoid. But as soon as they say, oh, I'm a Trump fan, the leftists will go from ally to vile hatred and the Trumpers will go from leftist avoid to shock surprise. And they will likely ask, wow, you're a Trump supporter? Yeah, let's go, Trump 2024. Damn, you must get a lot of shit. Oh, I know, tell me about it. And then at least when it comes to politics, they will get along. Tell me I'm wrong. The one side will only care about the superficial if the politics happen to align, while the other side will be skeptical of the superficial until they see the politics does not align. And then suddenly they care a lot less about the superficial because the stereotypical politics associated with it does not align. Bloody weird, isn't it? It's all theatrical bollocks anyway. And that is all for today. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time.